as the people wandering in the streets, as the vagrants that are simply moving about, whatever your background, whatever your stories, whether you'd be a princess in a faraway kingdom, a man or a woman certainly lost from where they once were, kicked out from their homeland, or maybe your parents just don't really like you and they decided to kick you out at a young age, or decide not to raise you at all. Regardless of any of that, you all wound up in the same place, inside of a cage, heading towards further away lands, with pirates about you on the high seas. Cue intro. Right now you have six total people inside the cage on top of the boat that you're currently on. Regardless of anything you do now, you do know that these people are in the same to term the phrase on the same boat as you are. <laughs> as you're inside, you do see this pirate individual. A nice broad elf, little burlier than you imagine. He's likely a half elf. He hits the cage and goes, All right, we're about a day away from the port city. Be a good little slave and you'll find a nice little master. Or a big one. <laughs> Depends on what they like. So it's clear to you that you have less than 24 hours to either get out of your situation or come to terms with it. Well, I say, compatriots, this is a sticky situation we found ourselves. Um. If I had my tools, I could try to pick the lock. Are there any boxes or crates stacked next to the cage we're in? There are some small boxes near you, um, but they're like uh, one foot by one foot. How? Are they... Oh, sorry. Am I able to reach them or be able to pull a plank off of them? Uh, they're all around you. If you don't want the pirates to see, you are able to reach, but you're just not able to pull them through the bar. Are we bound? No. Mainly because you're inside of a cage, and you can tell that the boat's not too well to do. Uh, one of you was saying something before the box scenario. Oh, I just wanted to know uh, how much distance there is between one bar to the next bar. Uh, roughly... Like Three inches. Three enough inches. to put your hand through, but not enough to put a box through. I could probably put my whole arm through, depending on what I turn into, though, and pull a plank off, or like up, like pull the box close enough to pull a plank off of it. That is fair. Uh, you okay. Can so know that the door I, is right here. Where's the door? Uh, <laughs> you're inside of a cage. Uh, Okay, but we can move around, right? Like, I could move. Yes, like, we you can, can. You can move. Um, to give you context or to give you a better range of how big the cage is, I'm just going to shrink your character tokens. Oh, okay. So we can really move around in here. Yeah, I thought we were sardines. Oops. Get back in the cage, you. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to kind of like whisper to everybody that if they can cause a distraction, I could probably get a plank off of one of those boxes, but it's going to be kind of loud, so they're going to have to cause some sort of commotion while I do that, if someone thinks that they can use a plank to get us out of here. <laughs> so you want us to cause commotion on the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is what I want. I can grovel, cower, and beg. I can cower pathetically to distract nearby foes. That's pretty useful. That is useful. I mean, it's technically a combat thing, but you didn't mind. So let's see. If Do you can get perhaps a nail like of that, if you can get a nail, I might be able to pick the lock afterwards. Okay, so I'm going to turn into one of those uh, well someone's got to block me though so I'm going to say that you know you guys have to block me because when I transform somebody might freak out I 
I'd like to speak with our captors and ask for an instrument because I'm awfully bored sitting here in this. Ah, clever. <laughs> Alright, uh, in doing so, you do block her. Uh, actually, I don't know if Jazz is currently a male or female. I'm a, I'm a female. Okay, you currently block her. Uh, do I have to do a persuasion? Uh, you just call him over. Ah, oh, what is it do you okay. want now? Coming to go and collect some... I don't know what you do, actually. Well, I'm a bard, after all. I sing songs and write tales of heroic deeds, far and few in between, and as it stands right now, this is god-awfully boring. There's nothing to do, nothing I could possibly sing about. Is there any way you could possibly give me back my instrument so at least we can have some cheery tunes? Mm. She just smirks and shouts out towards the individual to the far right. Hey, Max, you want to give him this special tool? <laughs> I'll give him a tool, all right. And he just throws something straight at you. Oh, rude. Uh, okay, so while, so while all this is going what? on, am I doing my thing? You're doing your thing. Okay, I'm going to, like, turn into one of those Yuan-Ti purebloods because they have those long, skinny arms. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to, like, pull a plank, like, slowly off of a box not to make too much noise to get a nail for whoever's using it. All right. As this is happening, uh, oh, you have it as player one. I, <laughs> I have a question. Am I able to use this right now? It's a part of my Merv. My oh. thing. <laughs> that would be like, we're going down and it's going down now. <laughs> yes. If we're gonna, if we're gonna create some fog, it's going down like, now. <laughs> Because then I could distract them with that. Like, am I able to do that now? You technically are, but uh, roll insight. Did you say insight? Yes. Okay. Should I be rolling, like, trying to get this plank off this box? or? Uh, no, you're fine. Uh, okay. I'm going to use your new character's name instead of the NPC. That's the wrong account. Uh, is it pronounced Nave? Navy. Like, I just felt it weird, but oh, like okay. Navy, like the sea. <laughs> uh, Navy, from what you can uh, tell, you want to do that likely after someone's opened the door. Because if you do it yeah, now, no, you'll I just still be in a cage. I'm throw this out here as an idea to everyone. Oh. I want to okay. say, hey, you guys, I I just wanted to know if I was able to do it at from, from first level. Yes, because you're literally next to a body of water. Yeah. Woohoo! So, I can throw okay. out some fog to distract them all. Mm -hmm. um, as Red manages to catch whatever they just chucked at her, you grab it and hit it against the bars, making enough noise that uh -huh. <laughs> one of you, Mini Jazz, is able to grab a plank from the wall, from the box, and the plank does have a nail embedded in it. Uh, player one or Red. <laughs> You do see that they threw a harmonica just at you. Yeah, I mean, at least you still got an instrument. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Da, 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 da. So, okay, so I take the nail out of the plank and then I like kind of hold it back behind my back to whoever needs it. Uh, that, Who's the strongest? That would be. Oh, well, then that's very convenient. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> um, and then can I try and pick the lock with that curse mine? Yeah. Uh, sure. Um, but first, is Red performing? Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna play the harmonica while all this is going on. To nice and loud, noise. right? <laughs> all right. Uh, while this is going what? on, what's Thal and uh, Liviana? Yes. What are you two doing? Um. What you can do is like help with the distraction, like banging against the bars, um, 
maybe beatbox with the harmonica. I don't know how well that would work, but it's doable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm meditating. But if there's nothing you feel like you can do, uh, you can also just stare at them. <laughs> I'm in a corner and I'm meditating, trying to think of something to do. <laughs> uh, roll insight. I, I, I begin uh, beating on the bars uh, to the beat of, uh, of uh, Remy. <laughs> uh, Red, go ahead and roll performance with advantage. I already rolled once. Then roll twice. Take the 17. I would recommend the 17, yes. Uh, <laughs> Casimir, from what you can tell, uh, you rolled a flat roll. Um, if someone does manage to open the doors, I would suggest uh, the merfolk next to you cast the fog effect, and then you make sure if if by chance they are able to recapture you, you break the door. Break the door. Um, Jam the nail in the lock. You want me to break the door once it's open? It's the thought that goes into your mind. Oh, I see. Uh, thank you, uh, Con... <laughs> thank you, Conscience. <laughs> 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 All right. While this is going on, uh, it's Soap on here too. Uh, Soap's character goes yeah, towards the yeah, door. <laughs> and because someone um, is highly distracting them, you do have advantage on this. Just one second before we do. Do we remember where our gear is? So we can go get that. Yeah, do we know where they took our stuff? A uh, flashback scene. Uh, it was roughly three days ago when you set sail. Uh, this man pushed you all in. Then he grabbed he grabbed your equipment all beforehand and goes, oh, no one else was here. He goes, all right, that should do it. <laughs> Look at you. You're dumb. Goes over to the boat that was previously flipped over. Puts it all inside that boat and flips it back. Now they don't know where it is. Oh, I love him already. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, when they all leave the room, I'm going to take a breath from my harmonica or what have you. Um, I want to ask the rogue. That was still thinks... there. Yeah, they're still there. He yeah. just moved them for the flashback scene. Oh, I gotcha. Okay, so um, I'm going to take a breath from uh, performing on my awesome harmonica and harmonica skills. And I'd like to whisper over to the rogue and ask him if he thinks he can make a lock pick from the harmonica. And my nail. Don't forget my nail. I can certainly try. Uh, you can roll slide the hand to try. My character and starts should... loudly chanting hot crossbow. Should... Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I join in. 15. Things pretty good. You are able to bend the metal on the harmonica in a way using the nail to make a makeshift lockpick, and you don't ruin the harmonica so badly that you can't bend it back. Uh, <laughs> while this is going on, Hot Cross Buns plays in the background. <laughs> I, I start chanting uh, in with the Hot Cross Buns, but I am chanting that we're going to pick this lock <laughs> out loud. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I, we, I try to like do it louder than her. <laughs> <laughs> Speak over her so they can't understand what we're saying at all. <laughs> With a quick snap and hot cross buns playing in the background, you are able to open the lock. It. Ooh, it's all... You didn't roll it so low that they didn't hear. No, wait, you didn't roll it so low that they heard. Ooh. Thankfully. Nicely done. <laughs> so right now you have an open door, but people are still on here. Less people than there were before, but 
it's workable, it's doable. You know where your uh, supplies is, which is currently underneath a rowboat. So are these two up here looking at us or are they having a conversation amongst themselves? They seem to be having a conversation amongst themselves. Does anyone want to try to sneak out to that boat? <laughs> I could do the fog now and we can sneak through the fog. Let's do it. Everybody else good with it? Yep. Yep. Should I go first? I mean, no, let's all go at the same time. <laughs> Kick up the fog. All right. It has a 20 foot radius, right? Yes. Uh, what is the lighting inside the boat? Uh, it's clear day. Oh, we're on top. We're in a cage. You're on top. On top. Okay. And just to be clear, we're going towards the boat. Are we just going to try to sneak off the ship? Like, tip the boat over the side and... No, we're just going to kill them all. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're going to incapacitate oh, yes. them and steal the boat, right? Like, or the ship, right? Like, that's that's what, that's what we would do. What yes, you can I do... steal the boat. You know that I there's the five boat. members in their party. The captain's the strongest one, but they're not here right now. There is a rowboat that you could swipe, jump into the ocean, and move fast enough that they wouldn't be able to catch you as they do have to follow the current, as they're close enough to the uh, port city that they couldn't veer from it. Okay, so what does everyone want to... Do we want to steal the, sh the giant ship or just take off in the rowboat? <laughs> I want this ship. <laughs> <laughs> the thief how, wants how many the of our opposers are on board? Five, you said? There are five total. Four crewmen and one captain currently in his room. Guys, we got this. Would I would I be able to cast sleep from where I'm at right now? Yes. Ooh. Yeah. That's a good idea. Well, I am gonna. I'm really good at unarmed strikes, so. <laughs> Yeah, so wait, do you, do you say power. that you're gonna do that, uh, like, to us, or are you just, like, gonna do it? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys first. Okay, then I think I want to do this on you. Um. Because do you have to, like, roll something to succeed, or does it just work? They roll a certain amount of dice, and if the targets that are hit with the dice goes uh, and go, gets them down to zero. Oh, yeah, you can just do that. They go to sleep. Oh, okay, so you don't even need help. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Okay, that's a, that's a cool spell. Do you have... Oh, you probably have sand. We were just on the... Be you're probably on a beach somewhere getting loaded into a... Gosh, that's sad. Even Where if, don't we have sand? Right, at this point, it's like probably like in our clothes. Oh. And you, you know, you're just covered in it, probably. You know? <laughs> okay. Yeah, you do have some sand. Even if you don't, there is some... They don't clean this place often. Dust around the area that you could use. Okay. So are you right, passing so it? Which, uh, which yes. of them are you going to try and put to sleep? I think it's all of them, right? Yeah, all three of them. Uh, but it cycles through. So, like, it starts on one and then it's like a priority target thing. Doesn't it hit the, the lowest wall. one first? It hits the lowest one first and then moves from there. However, go ahead and roll 5d8. That's going to be really good at the whole. Dang. You see your companion shout and cast, well, doesn't shout, basically sings a lullaby and then hits the target area. You then see the first initial person, hang on, give me a second. Okay, you then see the first initial person, the gnome at the top, goes down. You then see the red individual Goes down. <laughs> and the third. 
I should have given him both more health points. Goes yeah. down. <laughs> yes. To be clear, they had seven. Blech. Seven and seven. Hmm. Uh, the big guy had technically eight, but it really didn't matter. You had enough. Yes. So right now hey. you have a fog machine currently up. No one can currently see you, but you do hear three thuds hit the ground. That might attract the captains. We might want to move kind of fast. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, let's just get our stuff. Dip, up, dip, dip, boom. <laughs> and I try and utterly fail to lift up the rope. Oh, so I have I negative one strength. We were still on the boat. We have yes, to get our stuff first, though. So it's under the boat. Oh. It's un under this. Gotcha. Guys, how do I get rid of the pounds out of my so I can see the board? What you want to do is go to settings, scroll down to chat avatars, play video avatar size. Name only. Yep. Got it. Oh, that's cool. Thank you very much. No problem. Yeah, that's much better. You have pretty key in a game with this many players. <laughs> and one of them is me twice. <laughs> you do manage to, uh, with the help of your companions, get the boat over. Uh, Liviana, Navy, Jazz, you, and Soap, I still don't know your current character's name, you do and find your equipment, including the rest of your teammates. Uh, Thaw and Remy, you do see your equipment underneath the boat. There is no donkey or wagon here, however. <laughs> <laughs> so I, like, just grab what's mine and then get out of the way so that people can get in there. Alright, I'm gonna scoop, scoop up my belongings. Yeah, the next sure I step. I don't have much, but yeah, I grab whatever. And I take my happens. sweet time grabbing my items while kissing my. Sp <laughs> Th was anybody's stuff, like, loose? Could I have rummaged through it? Mine wouldn't have been. She was. Yeah, no, never. Any tiny <laughs> trinkets? Mine. Uh, no, it was all kept pretty much the same as you left it, and no one seems to have let anything loose. There are some small particular particular yeah. Uh, there are some small things around your stuff, but not nothing of their stuff. There's like some small spoons here and there, some silverware. It looks like they took more than just your stuff. Right, I'm gonna pocket some of the uh, the silverware. All right, you have ten. A uh, value of ten coins of silver. In silverware. Hmm. I can't help but think that the we'll call him soap for now, the kobold. I want that. I want I like the shiny things. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, you're saying that? Yes, yeah. I want you You had I'm I'm going to address the kobold and reply back. Excuse me, do you not see that this belongs to me? Would you dare take it from <laughs> Raw deception? <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> okay, but I'm greedy, so I... Yes, but I got you out of that cage. I mean, he makes a point. That may be so, but these obviously belong to me, and I'm going to say it with a much angrier voice as I feel threatened. <laughs> <laughs> Some Can I roll the persuasion on that? You mean intimidation? Yeah, it had to be intimidation. No, friend. Is but I helped you. We're friends now, aren't we? And then I start trying to be the mediator and telling them to like calm down and be nice to each other. And I'm just going to step forward and be like, aren't we trying to take a ship here? <laughs> uh, can you guys just take what's yours and let's move on? As you argue about spoons, the fourth member wakes up. Oh, great. See? <laughs> ah! 
Is there any presenting rope nearby I can grab? Uh, it's not attached. Not in your current area. There are some ropes attached to um, the mast. But you have I have rope. That. Oh, yeah. You also have rope now. Uh, but you do hear uh, the guy stay. Can I use some rope to tie some dudes? Yeah, here. <laughs> I hand the rope. All right. Okay, you hand I'm the rope. Go. Uh, the man at the far uh, end then states, What's go? Oh, weird fog thing. Begins to touch it. Someone needs to knock him out. <laughs> Uh, so we'll forget about. I'm gonna attack I, him unless anybody has. Great club, but I'm, I'll run over and grapple him, or try to grapple him when you guys can club him over. We'll club him over the head, slash, stab, uh, slash, stab him with my sword. I mean, what? if you must. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to uh, grapple that goblin-looking dude. He's a hobgoblin, but yes. He's going to be hobbling on the floor in a minute. And then once he's down... Uh, step, step. I mean, there might be, like, a bounty out for these guys. Dead eye! Still rolling. It is taking forever to roll. I rolled five. Does that win? It doesn't yep. mean you win. Uh, he's currently just poking at it, so you see his arms quickly bend behind his back and hold him pinned down. Yeah, that guy put a best ball on a cat on his. He's currently just what playing. Have I Huh? Ray Pearson? You would have advantage. Aren't we still in a fear of fog? Uh, you are, he isn't. And he's grappled. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Yeah, that hits. And sneak attack. Alright. As a man is grappled by your... Let's call him Comrade for now. Who knows how you mm -hmm. feel later. You hold onto him and stab into him. Then with a quick motion, you kick him off the boat because you killed him about seven points over. <laughs> <laughs> with a large splash. I'd like to think that I kick him like triumphantly, but because my strength is so weak, it takes like a good four or five seconds of the body to just fall off. So, yeah. like, in the meantime, I'm, like, cutting rope with the small knife I have, like, in sizes to go tie everybody up. So, who's coming with me to tie them up? I'll go with. Okay. And I, as well. Okay, so I just, like, hand rope to everyone coming with me so we can just handle them. Mm -hmm. All right. You have them, then, without issue, both of your companions... Uh, managed to do so without a, without a worry. Uh, they are asleep, and you didn't make enough noise for to rouse them, and none, none of you stab them to wake them up. Maybe. Don't want to take that option away from you. Nah, I'm not doing it. Throw them in the cage. Yeah, I'll throw them in the cage. <laughs> uh, in the cage. Before they get thrown in the cage, I'm going to step forward and uh, search the end. I was going to say, I was definitely doing that. You can search yours. Um, the one that you have has a hand axe, uh, a small dagger, but no monetary value on her person. Nah, then I don't care. No, 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 not yours. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, the ones that you have, the one you have, uh, has... Uh, okay. Iron armor, that gives you a plus two to your AC. Uh, long sword, Can't use it. Uh, and no material value on that person. Yeah, I can't use any of that. So if anybody wants to uh, take that stuff, it's yours. I, I'm going to remove it from him and throw the armor over. Okay. It's good armor, but it's not great armor. Um, 
the one next to you, uh, Navy, is wearing leather armor, which is standard leather armor. Has two daggers. They seem to be blue in color, but other than that, no distinctive features. And no monetary value on their person. Uh, should you take the daggers just because they're blue? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason why. <laughs> Everything else should just leave. And my captor, what does he have? I stated that before. A uh, hand axe, a small dagger, and no monetary value. What kind of All ears right. does he have? Uh, pointed ones. Wait, are we talking about point cutting people's ears off? Perhaps. I'm a barbarian. Can't I don't it. oppose this. <laughs> well, I mean, I'd probably be like a little... Uh, disturbed but i'd probably just walk away like shaking my head i would uh i would protest very much i'd be probably be saying you know we could probably you know turn these guys in for money somewhere as they're probably bounties but whatever i mean i perk up at the sound of money (laughs) 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 i thought ears were only proof of kills it's much more valuable to live and intact Exactly. They're more valuable intact. But that so is... I vote we throw him in the cage and... Also, I want that. He's just pointing at everything. Oh. <laughs> and that, and that. <laughs> and I probably just like, be like, it's okay, we'll, we'll get you things later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna shout back at the kobold, you will not have my spoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I will have all the spoons. <laughs> I mean, they are going to go in the cage, but the ear thing is entirely up to you, I suppose. I'll roll deception. <laughs> How would that be deception? They know you I was going to say, I probably would be perceiving that you're doing what you're doing. I'll put a... <laughs> Put a really big hat on so they can't see his ear. But we are watching you. You speak <laughs> that loud. It's like he rolls a <laughs> twenty. Nighttime, he just sometime. turns around. His cloak is blocking. It. It's like, what is he doing? He's, I will say, if you like, roll a natural twenty, you find a giant hat that covers their face. <laughs> hey, you have to roll a nat twenty. Uh, oh. You find a giant uh, sun hat that covers their oh face. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> and we don't see it happen at all. I don't care. While you oh put it on, god. you I mean, can you really complain. <laughs> you can cut off the ear, but probably nothing else without being too visible. Uh, I guess you own some ears. I, just want the lucky. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. So, I can't believe that. Uh, so does that wake him up? It doesn't wake this one up, yes. Aren't you lucky? Okay, so now we have a captain to worry about. To um, bandage his ear up so he doesn't bleed out. All right. They're currently still flailing because they're in pain. No one knows why. As they go to reach for their head, you quickly grab onto their sun hat, administering first aid. They're curious why, but make no emotions against it. It's okay, it's okay. Hey, you've got a snare. It's gonna be... <laughs> As you manage to bandage them up and not cause them to die, uh, it's actually a woman, and she shouts, You cut off my ear! And what's with this hat? Oh, <laughs> and now you're gonna have half of us pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Guess why? I'm just gonna like walk I, over, I'm and I'm gonna. I'm currently shooting daggers. Like, I'm I'm literally gonna walk like over my, with my eyes, <laughs> like pull pull <laughs> you away from her, and shut the door and just glare. <laughs> uh, honestly, deception would be near impossible in this situation. Yeah, she yelled. <laughs> like. But you so, didn't yeah. gag them. So she shouts out, Captain! Oh 
okay, well now I'm bracing I'm, myself. Yeah, I was like, I'm neutral. Inside so the I'm fog. I'm looking around, like, keeping my eye out for that captain. I'm going back in the, the cage. Can we lock know, the cage? Just... Yeah, and I'm back in the fog, bracing myself. Soap is gonna re-pick the anti pick this lock. Oh, you know what he's gonna do? He's gonna Wait, grab so the, to break keys. the door now. He's uh, gonna grab the keys off of the one of his asleep motherfuckers. In mm -hmm. this situation, you feel like you shouldn't break the door. Okay, Unless you want them you to escape. I just want the keys so they can't get out whenever they want. There we go. Okay, you grab oh, some yeah, keys, you lock them up. Uh, it's too late to gag them. You do close the door. Uh, thinking back on it, you don't want to break them, break the door. The only thought you had beforehand was to break the door in case they recaptured you. Uh, things have turned. I know, I was joking around. <laughs> I don't know, some of my players really commit. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> See okay, what so your hubris has wrought? We're bracing ourselves now, right? Like uh, yes. So they wouldn't have a surprise round against you? So they appear out of seemingly nowhere, which is technically here. But we are in fog, so haha. Oh, -ha. As they open the door, one of you is in fog unless they didn't move their token. I'm okay with this. Okay. I'm okay with <laughs> <laughs> are we gonna take an opportunity though? Uh no. Someone shouted out. Oh god. <laughs> they were ready. But if we're in the fog, we get, like, advantage on our first attack, though, right? Yes. Okay. So they burst open the door, almost hitting you in the face. Uh, with Cutlass in hand, they look at the fog. Look at you, and everyone go ahead and roll turn order. To do so, okay, so... it is also called initiative. And in order to have your thing... See, okay, so this is the thing. If you click and highlight your character token and then roll uh, initiative, oh, okay. it will add to the turn order automatically. I actually did it right that time. So sometimes that means you have to make your character sheet really small so that you can click them both at the same time. Mine didn't work. Uh, how'd you do it? Okay, so you click on your token. You make sure that you're on the select thing from the left side. Highlight it, highlight your token, and then while it's still highlighted, your character sheet can be open and you click on initiative. The word initiative, it'll highlight red. Should be in the of your base character sheet. I stood by or I you guess as it will. The character sheet that's on roll 20 or the one that's on Beyond D&D? Roll 20. Uh, on roll 20, sorry. I don't know the D&D Beyond, D &D Beyond I... thing. Um, so, Kaz, as long as your character is in the turn order in the bottom left, you can just click and add it. Yes. So I added all of you already in. So just roll a d20 and then add it in. Yeah, or you can click on initiative in Beyond d and all right, I'll just manually place everyone where they need to be. I'll figure out how to do that later. Yeah. All right. Uh, soap is first. Uh, first descending order. And Liviana is second. Da, 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 da. A lot of you rolled poorly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did. <laughs> the captain goes after. About? Casimir goes after the captain. And... Da, 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 da. Let's see here. Both of you got... No, that's an 8 and a 5. My bad. Uh, yeah, everything's My in bad. order except I... for Remy. Um... I have a 13, so I forgot a plus 3 initiative. Okay, then you would go before uh, Jazz. All right, uh, so you are first. Adventure. Um, I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I swatched earlier, it's time to fuck <laughs> And I, we have an advantage, right? You said that? You do. Hey. I assume a 23 hits. 23 does it? Striking straight towards the man, you pierce through the veil, hitting him with your buckler and smashing in that sneak <laughs> attack. It's with my sword, but I'm a swashbuckler. I swash and I buckle. Hey, yes. hey, hey, jokes. <laughs> Anything else? At level one, I think that's all I got. I believe so. Viviana. Okay. I am going to cast Fireball. <laughs> all right. On a ship. <laughs> don't miss. <laughs> Eric, don't get don't get a crit one over screw. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and roll again, as you do have advantage on the attack. 24 does hit. And I will use the initial damage. Aiming straight towards the captain, as you know him as captain, because you never asked his name. A little rude. You fire a firebolt straight at the man, burning into his oh. flesh. Oh, we're the rude ones. So we can ask him his name as he dies. <laughs> <laughs> He begins to take a knee, and he's bleeding now. He is hurt, but he is not dead. Any movement? Uh, can I interject and say, hey, guys, I think maybe we should just tie him up and throw him in the thing. I think that's a good idea. I agree. I'm going to throw a net on. There we go. <laughs> All right. Uh... If you're not taking the movement, it is now the captain's turn. Oh, and then the couple died. No. <laughs> oh, no. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Right. Don't, don't worry, the cleric's got you. He can't really see the team. <laughs> um, so he will go after the closest thing. Oh, yep. great. Turning towards the cobalt, he then brings out his swashbuckler. Buckler. Have at me, fiend. Let's see. Plus five. Uh -oh. 20. Yeah, 20 hits. Mm -hmm. All right. He doesn't have sneak attack, thankfully enough. So that's 1d8 plus modifier. So that's 1d8 plus three. Uh, nine. <sighs> Ignore that last oh, one. Oh, yeah. Nine. I have one HP left. Things aren't looking so good for the cobalt. <laughs> Thal. Oh no. So I'm pretty sure since it's your turn, you heard me suggest that we tie him up. And so I said that just in case you want to, you know, not kill him. <laughs> Can I like in one fluid motion run up, throw a net on him and try to grapple him to the ground while the net... Uh, throwing a net would essentially be a grapple check. Uh, would be the gravel check. Uh, do you have a net? Uh, it was in my original equipment. I don't know if it was in the chest when I got it out. It would be. Then yes, I have a net. Alright, uh, what's the rules on the net? That's a good question. I think it only doesn't work on huge characters. I think it works on Range like weapon, martial, net, um... It says, it a large or smaller degree. creature hit by a net is restrained until it's free. All right. Uh, so it's an attack roll. They yes. have to make a DC 10 strength check. To remove it? Yeah. To free itself, yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll an attack roll. It would be a strength attack, I suppose. And do I have to get five feet from him, or can I toss it from here? I'm 15 feet. You can toss it from here. Okay, uh, I'll do a... Let's strike down this foul slaver. You do have Whoa. advantage, thankfully. <laughs> Whoa. Or else you Otherwise might get one of your friends. Otherwise that's going over me. Yeah. Oh, no. 
So I rolled a natural one and I got three total. You, you have an advantage. You have an advantage, yeah, you which roll means again. you roll again. Advantage allows you to roll another d20 and then take the highest. Thank heavens. <laughs> Oh, what? No! <laughs> but that oh, doesn't no. help if you roll another one. I had to make up for that not 20 earlier. Oh, Alright. Uh, ah, ah! I've been trapped! Uh, yes, it's tight. No, because trapping you would make way too much sense. He's so, gonna trap himself! <laughs> no. Uh, Thal, you begin to swirl the net around your head and chuck it straight towards the enemy captain. However, because you were swinging it too far, it bends over and further and hits someone. That someone being player one, Remy. <laughs> oh. uh, any movement or bonus? Uh... But now Remy can do a, a DC 10 to try to get out of it, though, right? Yeah, super easy. Okay. I don't think you have a bonus action, but if you want to take movement, you can. I have a bonus action. I could go into rage. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> then you might kill him. <laughs> I'll just I'll just rage. All Let's right. Go. <laughs> she says like it's a terrible thing. I just got... <laughs> Dummy by this guy. Remy. Yeah, well. Maybe I don't like killing people for the sake of killing people. <laughs> maybe I don't like being put in a cage. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Remy. <laughs> or red. Um that has nothing to do with athletics, right? Just be regular DC. Yeah. It's just a strength check. Ooh. Hmm. That is not great. Let me look at the rules specifically in case I decide to be nice. No, it's just a strength check. Yeah, I was going to try to cut it, but it says slashing, and my dagger and my rapier are both... <clears throat> Although I would assume a dagger is more than capable of cutting a net. It might take you more than one turn. It might take you more than it. one turn, but... Uh, like they were saying, um, it's possible. So does the strength DC save, is that the action on your turn? Uh, or can I, I do things while restrained? Let's see here. Net. A larger small creature restrained until it is freed. The net has no effect on creatures. A creature uh, can use its action to make a DC 10 strength check. So that is your action. I believe you can also try to burn it off. If you're fireproof. Uh, so you have a bonus action if you have one, or m you don't have movement, I'm afraid. Yeah, I'm going to use a uh, Bardic Inspiration on myself. That's fair. Jazz. Hmm, gosh. Like, I can hurt this guy, hurt this guy, hurt this guy, or hurt this guy. Oh... Or E, all of the above. Sorry, what? You could specify non-lethal. You can. Oh, see, no one's ever let me do that before. Okay. Uh. <laughs> can I? I want to try something kind of crazy. <laughs> um, can I shoot my short bow with a rope connected? to it and try to get it around his feet. Do I need to wait for that? I think you need to wait for that. Do you have like bolos or something? Oh, let's see. How much weight do you think it would take? Like I have a lot of random things I can attach to it. <laughs> Best bet, 10 pounds. 10 pounds, okay. Uh. Hmm. Oh. Could I, like, <laughs> attach one of my... No, that's weird. I was like, I'll attach one of my boots to it. No. Um, 
I don't think I have anything that's ten pounds. Yeah, it's Dang like it. iron it, helmet, shit of wait, coins. Is there anything have... nearby I could pick oh. up that's like ten pounds? A small box. That's not gonna work. Would you, you like can... to borrow mine? Yeah, you can Are borrow you near... someone's stuff. Um, I have caltrips and I have bolo. Okay, so then I'm just gonna like whisper. Has anyone got something have like semi heavy I can attach to a rope? That if way. She just bolo. Just bolo it up. Okay, so I'm gonna like attempt to do this. I'm gonna attempt to tr like get it around his feet and trip him. I wonder if I can get roped twice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead and. I think all like, those require strength. Yeah, but then also, don't I, don't I need like dexterity to do this too? That's true. How, what about like a? I'm trying to look at the skills, like anything in skills that might. Hmm. Go ahead and roll acrobatics. Oh gosh, we're in trouble. <laughs> 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 Wait, I get advantage because I'm in the fog. Right? Yes. No. Oh. 11. <laughs> okay. Uh, Soap, you almost see Bolos just hit your face as they hit the wall behind him. <laughs> but there's an arrow and oh, a rope so attached, great. right? So, yes. like, that would be distracting at least, right? It is distracting, so the next person will have advan super advantage if they already have advantage on their turn. Yes. Not completely useless. <laughs> Any movement? <laughs> no, I'm staying right here. <laughs> Navy. Oh, jeez. Okay, so... Remember, there's really a rope. Do. Yeah, <laughs> where did that, that rope went, like... It's, it's nowhere like, where... It's, like, in the wall right here. It's... uh, To be specific, it's in the wall, and then, like, right there. There's the rope. Oh. Uh, Do you got, plus. like, stealth or anything? Just like, whoop! I'm just a monk, so I'm like, I can go up and whack him with an unarmed strike. <laughs> well, punching is like the king of non-lethal damage, Yeah, that's right? true. Yeah. So I can always do that. I think my unarmed strike is... Where did it go? It's like a... So I think it's 1d4 plus your uh, either dexterity or strength. Yes. I think if I did this right... You could just like slide out and punch him between the legs. <laughs> I think... Yep. That's 14 sure does it? Okay. And then for my. Oh, and then that rolled my damage too, right? Or no? No. You, no. no you, have to, you have to click on the word on arm strike. It should highlight red. In the chat. Oh, 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 got it. I always do that wrong. I almost did it wrong just now. Oh, man. <laughs> well, it was non lethal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Try my best. Is your dexterity higher than your strength? Because you can substitute yes. that. Yes. Yeah. My dex. Stays. You have. I thought I did. I thought I put dex on that. Unless I said uh, that wrong. Did yeah, you did. It, yeah. Uh, that would be three then. Looking at the man, you do see that he is surprised that there's rope in front of him. So you aim straight towards him and sucker punch him in the face for three points of damage. He is still worn and worse for wear, but he is still alive. If you want to keep them that way, that is. Anything else? Keep an eye on his ears. <laughs> I can't, like, try to grab the rope and wrap it around him. Or... No, because that would be a grapple or something. That would be like a grapple, yeah. Are there any gauges in his ears that you could put the rope through? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Unfortunately, there is not. That trend has yet to reach the pirate life. <laughs> I think sure that's all not. I can do for oh. now. So. Because I don't have my other stuff oh, yet. Okay. Well. Where, where did you move to? Me? Yeah. Did you, Michael, like yeah. move forward well, and move back, or? Yeah, because where is the which? I'm fighting the red guy, right? Yeah. You would be probably yeah. right here. Yeah. Um, I can't move away after I move up there, right? You, you can, can but, but you would provoke an attack of opportunity. Yeah. So I, I will just. I hope he doesn't hit me. <laughs> I'll stay. All right. 
So. <laughs> because I almost got dummied, and I, I know the t to knock this guy out. The only one who's seemingly been attacked really hard. I want to roll against my cowardly nature. So my cowardly nature is to kill this guy offhand. But I know the team doesn't want that, so what should I roll? Um, to, um an intelligent saving throw, I suppose. All right. Uh oh, um, I had an advantage, but well, the first one was 22. Yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> so I will attempt to, um, I guess, if you'll allow it, pommel strike this guy. Yeah. And I would have an advantage because... Wait, do I? Does that kick in at level three? Sorry, I'm so not used to being level one. One of those swashbuckers. You currently do not have advantage. Yes, and the thing I was thinking of kicks in at level three, so I do not have advantage. Normal attack. Swash time. 17 does hit. I think you knocked him out. <laughs> <laughs> you see Navy come over towards him and punch him in the face. Uh, almost into a box -like, boxer-like stance, begins to dance in the area. Uh, he looks straight towards Navy and begins to take his rapier and aims straight towards her. Taking this advantage shot, you hit him straight in the face in the jaw. And... Thankfully enough, he does have a glass jaw as he goes down to the ground unconscious. Woohoo! It's like a little ugly Yoda doing like a shoryuken, but with uh, <laughs> the basket of the rapier. Wow. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, are we going to help our, our, our uh, comrade here get out of this net? <laughs> I'm just going to say at this point, I'm extremely, extremely angry at all of the insults that have been thrown at me, quite little. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to come over here and help get this net off. The net's off. Okay. And I take my net back. All right. Yeah, when, when the net comes off, I'm going to stretch my wings and uh, lift up off the deck and hover in place. Because I, I did not enjoy being restrained on the ground. As you hover over the deck, you can see there's a small island due east. You weren't so expected to get to any coastline until 20, uh, 23 hours from now. So that's something. Does anyone know how to... Uh... <laughs> how to do anything on a ship? <laughs> uh, good question. I'll take the wheel, guys, and you guys do the pulleys and ropes and all that hard <laughs> Get him in there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we have I, to roll for that, because I, we could all just be like, oh, we have history with it or whatever, but... No. My uh, hair is a swashbuckler. How long <laughs> have we been on the boat observing them doing everything on here? A, a couple days. Months? Three days, oh, actually. Three days, that's right. I have a map. You have a map, yes. I don't, I don't know of what, but I have. <laughs> I have a map, but I know of what. <laughs> it's um, not going to help us here. <laughs> so you do find that the captain does have a nice uh, red cloak, a uh, captain's cloak on him. Uh, the rapier that he used to stab you. Uh, another that. rapier that is uh, re-flavored to be a swashbuckler. Um, and important question, does he have a hat? He does not have a oh hat hidden anywhere on his person. <laughs> what kind of a captain is this? He might have it in his room. All right. Well, I'll his check that later, but like I'm a greedy bastard, so I'll take both those rapiers and determine which one I want to give out later. <laughs> so with no real knowledge except for uh, some hearsay here and there, 
The magical aura that's around you that created the fog eventually disappears. There's really no one of you that specifically knows how to man a boat, but you have seen it happen. You're not sure if you can make it to the location you're heading towards, but the only location you might have a chance, at least for now, is that small island. Do you head towards that small island or do you go to the coastline and maybe make it there? Mm. I say we try to go towards a small island and try to finagle the boat the best we can. With Agreed. Our I like the small island idea. Yep. All right. Um, who, whoever is manning the sails, uh, it needs three people to man the sails and one person to steer. Who are manning the sails and who are steering? Oh, yeah, the sails. <laughs> I definitely am not going to man the sail. Take the wheel, my friend. If there's anything that requires someone to go up in the rigging and jump around and do that kind of sail work, so you guy. All right, we have two to man the sails and one to drive. Uh, anyone else manning the sail? I will. Oh man, I will. It can be more sorry. than two. If you do more we than uh, sorry three, if you do more than three, one person gets advantage. The question is, what are we rolling? <laughs> what you are rolling is people sleight on of the sails. Three people steering. The people Ooh. on the sails will roll sleight of hand. You need a DC of 10 to not break anything. Okay, I don't need advantage on that if anybody else wants to. Uh... Yeah, I have a plus three modifier to slide in. The person plus that is four. driving uh, needs to roll uh, insight, I suppose. I guess I'll be driving it because I'm not good at sleight of hand or anything like that. Better sleight of hand than insight for me. I'm I'm gonna keep lookout. I don't think I'm good at either, honestly. But at least well, I yeah. I only did a nine, so yeah. Mild success. Okay, so everyone. that means that means I get the uh, advantage, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the rope. Yeah. It's a nine. Is I mean, I'm a. I mean, I'm I'm a <laughs> trident, so maybe. Being part of the sea gives advantage. I could be like, ah, yeah, you're sure. excellent navigate. You the insight on the wheel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Although with the seventeen, you did well. With the help, no, of I mean you... like helping everybody else out too, though. Oh yeah, uh, sure. Yeah, uh, help me. Help. Like, <laughs> this is what you call a blah, 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 and it's the mass, and then there's the north, and <laughs> there's no, water right there. The there's lots sail. of water. You there's salt in the water. Don't drink that water. <laughs> Don't drink it. <laughs> Don't drink that water. <laughs> you all managed to get to the small island. There's a small wear and tear that you accidentally did to the mast, but not enough that it would impede you leaving. You're heading towards a small island, and who knows? Maybe you'll find something there that can help you get out of this situation as we end the session for today. <laughs>